Hey, hey, hey. What's going on, everybody? It's your man, David, down at Crosstown Chrysler in Edmonton, Alberta. And from the used car superstore is this 2017 Ram 1500 Limited in granite crystal metallic paint powered by the Hemi 5.7 liter V8 engine underneath the hood. This is a crew cab configuration truck with the five foot box on the back. Come to the front here. You have projector style halogen headlamps laying out the road in front of you with high beams there. This does have LED running lights and those are also the turn signals. There's two fog lamps on the front bumper and those dots in the front bumper are front park sense parking sensors. Beautiful chrome grille with the RAM lettering. It looks absolutely sharp. This Ram 1500 Limited is running on 20 inch rims. They are chrome alloy rims and the tires are Goodyear Wrangler mud and snow tires. With plenty of tread on there, you'll surely have lots of traction. There's chrome running boards on both sides of this truck, so you can easily get inside. Chrome door handles on the outside on all four doors. Chrome vent visors as well, and chrome mirrors. And the mirrors have built-in LED turn to the lights on them. These are breakaway, and these are heated mirrors as well. There's also LED convenience lights under here. This does have the proximity key fob, it is in my pocket right now. All you gotta do is put your hand around the door handle like this. The ram will sense the fob is near, and that'll unlock the doors for you. You always press that button right there to lock up this ram when you're done with it. Here's the driver's side door panel. There's storage down below with two big cup holders, storage in the middle. Nice place for an arm right here. This has power mirrors, power windows, power locks with window lock. Driver and passenger side windows up front are automatic and this does have power folding and mirrors press this button here you can fold the mirrors in in case you need to park in a tight parking spot press it again and the mirrors come right back out for you and this truck has a very luxurious interior with unique styling touches throughout like the stitching right here you can just feast your eyes on all the luxuriousness inside this truck there's a handle right here so you, the driver, can easily get inside this truck. It is a leather-wrapped steering wheel with unique materials on top here. This is a tilt steering wheel too. This has power adjustable pedals. You move the pedals closer or further away from your feet. This has automatic headlamps so you can set it and forget it. Dimmer knob there. That will turn on the box lights. That will turn on the fog lights. Directional air vent right here which you can close and open. Driver's seat is fully powered with lumbar support and you have driver's seat presets and you can save up to two presets and the push of one of these buttons, the seat will adjust to your preset settings. This does have leather seats throughout. They're very comfortable to sit in. Adjustable headrests on the front seats and this has adjustable seatbelt height. So depending on how big or tall a person you are, you can adjust the seatbelt height so you're most comfortable inside this Ram truck. And there's a power sunroof up top and this has LED interior lighting throughout. There's a pocket on the side of the middle console right here. Nice leather padding in the middle here for arms to rest on. Beautiful limited badge with nice stitching. Open this up, you have your manual right here. There's a change holder and there's a USB port and an auxiliary port connected to your media. Plug anything into those areas and you can play music through those areas through the Alpine sound system. And there's another USB port right there. If you have cords coming out of here, run them along the side so when you close the lid, it doesn't crush your cords. There's even more storage space down below here with a little ledge there for some pens. Two big cup holders in the middle here with bubbles to hold your cups into place. Beautiful style. Open this up. There's a cell phone holder right there. And there's a 12 volt DC power outlet. There's a nice little storage spot down there too. And this does have an auto dimming rear view mirror. Let's go check out the back seat area. Back doors open up nice and wide, so anybody can easily get into the back seat area. Storage down below, storage in the middle. Nice place for an arm, power window switch, looking absolutely beautiful. This does have insulated removable in-floor storage areas. You put ice in here and keep cans of Coke. Balls water cold, and if it gets dirty, you can remove it and clean it. And when the mats are laid out back here, they stay nice and hidden under the mats. Two big cup holders down below there. 
This has a 12 volt DC power outlet in the back seat area, heated seats in the back, and directional air vents. Unique pockets on the backs of the front seats. And believe it or not, they're just magnets. Very nice. Fold down armrest here in the middle with two big cup holders, adjustable headrest in the back seats too. Hooks up above so you can hang up nice clothing. So if you're going to a nice event, your clothing doesn't get all wrinkled. The interior lamp right here, push it with your hand, it'll come on and act as a reading lamp. Push it again, it'll shut off. Extra speakers up top, connect to the Alpine sound system. The seat does flip up and there is a fold out gate here. You put things underneath or on top for storage. It easily flips back if you're not using it. And there's storage space underneath. And there's a clip here so you can clip this up and secure it. And there's LED lights built into the bottom of the seats. They light up the feet area for you at nighttime so you can see where your feet are. And of course, there's a convenience handle right there. This has LED tail lamps on the back, dual exhaust tips at the back with chrome around them, chrome RAM lettering on the back, looks absolutely sharp, it says limited and 4x4 with another chrome touch, looks sharp, spot for a trailer hitch down below here with connections so you can hook up a trailer or power up any aftermarket devices using this Ram truck. And those dots on the back bumper are rear park sense parking sensors. Back of camera is built into the tailgate handle right here. Open up the tailgate. There's hooks in all four corners. So you tie down your load so you don't lose it when you're driving down the highway. This does have LED box lights and they're very useful at nighttime. Of course, you have your regular box lights up there too. This is a locking tailgate. Press the lock button on the key fob. All four doors will lock, including the tailgate. I like how the front and rear bumpers are color matching. All right, storage down below, storage in the middle, power window switch, looking great. Convenience handle right here. Of course, the box on the back of the passenger seat, insulated, removable in floor storage area. This side also flips up like so. LE light there. And you have the fold-out gate. Put things underneath or on top for storage. And there's two cutouts for the cup holders in the middle, which I think is a clever touch. It's easily folds back. Underneath here, there is a subwoofer connected to the Alpine sound system, adding to the great sound quality of the system. If you don't want people to see your subwoofer, just do that now. People can't see the subwoofer. And this comes down. Excellent. You can unlock all the doors by putting your hand around the passenger door handle too if you have the key fob on you to get inside. And you can press that button right there to lock up the RAM when you're done with it. Storage down below with two cup holders, storage in the middle, power locks, power window switch. Love it. Passenger seat is fully powered with lumbar support as well. And underneath the passenger seat are the tire shifting tools which allows for easy access. And of course you have a pocket on the side of the middle console on this side too. Lower glove box here with some goodies in there for you. Nice limited badge. Upper glove box with a convenient light. Spot for some pens or packs of gum. Directional air vent, which you can close and open. And of course, a convenience handle here. And there's very unique stitching on the dashboard as well. Let's hop inside and take a closer look right now. This is the proximity key fob. There's an unlock button, a lock button, and a panic button on it. You can raise and lower this truck using the active level four corner air suspension by using this button right here. There's a nice big RAM badge on the back. And this also has remote start, so all you gotta do is hit this button twice, the doors will lock, and the truck will start right up. Boom, just like that, it just fires up. Then you can put your hand around either the driver or passenger side door handles to get inside or you can just hit the unlock button here like so. You can keep this key fob in your pocket or you can put it down below here in this little storage compartment. And the active level four corner air suspension buttons are right here. There are four settings and we are at the highest setting 
right now, and that is off road two, and I'll let you know in the bottom right corner where the active level four corner air suspension is set at. And to get it past the remote start system, you just gotta put your foot on the brake down below, go over the side here, and press the push button, start button, and we're good to go. Unique gauges to the limited, looks very nice. And this truck only has 63,731 kilometers. That's not much at all. So using buttons on the left side of the steering wheel right here, we can go through the driver information center. And the first thing you'll see is that there's a digital speedometer, which you can change the miles per hour if you're going to the States. You have your vehicle info area here. It tells you tire pressures for all four tires. You have your air suspension area, transmission temperature, oil temperature, oil life, full on gauge summary, engine hours, and back to your tire pressures. Fuel economy here lets you know your fuel range, your current liters per hundred kilometers, your average liters per hundred kilometers. Hold this button here and you easily reset that. You have a trip A calculator and a trip B calculator. Both of them tell you how far you've driven, your average vehicle speed, your average fuel economy, and the time you've been driving for. Hold this button here, you can easily reset that. Trip B has never been reset before, so you can be the first one to reset that. Trailer tow area lets you know what the gain is set at. Audio center lets you know what's playing on your media. Message center in case this truck wants to tell you something. Screen set up here, so you can customize the screen, make it more of your own, and back to the digital speedometer. And if you open up any door on this truck, it'll let you know in the bottom left corner which door on the truck is opened. Nice big ram badge in the middle here with, of course, a horn. It's a very loud horn. Cruise control on the right with your gear selection buttons up here. This does have voice recognition. Cancel. Canceled. Using voice recognition, you can tell the GPS navigation to find an address, which I think is really cool. And if the call comes through Bluetooth, you can answer the call just by pressing that button right there. And behind the steering wheel, there's steering wheel mounted audio controls that allows you to adjust your volume go through your presets and so much more. If I put this truck into reverse, that shows up your front and rear park sense parking sensors on the screen here. So if you get close to an object front or behind you, the system will warn you to let you know that you're coming close to an object by sounding out audible beeps. You're sure to hear them. And by showing you on the screen here, there'll be flashing lights either here or here. And of course, backup camera appears on the touchscreen. You can access them here, giving you a great view of what's behind you. And if I turn the wheel, it'll guide you to where you're going to be backing up. Push button four wheel drive down here with 4WD auto. Trailer brake controller, traction control, tow slash haul mode. You can turn off the front and rear park sense parking sensors just by pressing these buttons here. I'll warn you on the screen here if you did turn them off. Easily turn them back on like this. This has heated and ventilated seats up front and it also has a heated steering wheel. 115 volt AC power outlet, another spot for some pens or packs of gum. Directional air vents here, which you can easily adjust and you can close and open those. A little spot for some change, a nice ramp badge, great style. Up here is the logo for the Alpine sound system. I'm letting everybody know that you have the fantastic system. And up here, you have a programmable garage door opener. You have a switch for the rear sliding window, so you easily open that up. And of course, these are reading lamps. Fold down sun visors with convenience mirrors, with convenience lights, and the sun visors do break away and they do slide out and there's tons of visibility out the front window. And this is the touchscreen Uconnect system. This has AM, FM radio and Sirius XM. Access to a mini map right here, connected GPS navigation, direct tune into a specific radio station that you wanna to listen to. Presets up top, easily hold one of the boxes here with your finger and you easily set a preset like so. Great sound quality through the speakers. Sounds really good. Media button here, so if you have something plugged into the USB port, the auxiliary port, or Bluetooth device connected, go here and you can listen to music through those areas. Touchscreen controls for the heated and ventilated seats. The heated steering wheel, you can access the back of the camera without the truck being in reverse. And you have your mirror dimmer there too. You can adapt, showing all the cool stuff that you have. Touchscreen climate controls here. You also have climate controls down here. These are the physical climate and audio controls. This does have dual climate control with the auto feature, which allows the truck to adjust your climate control for you. 
GPS navigation area here, view the map, gives you a great view of where you are. You can zoom in and you can zoom out on the map. Put an address, it'll show you how to get to where you want to go. Bluetooth area here, pair of phone, make hands-free calls. You can pair more than one device. Everything you do on your phone, you do hands-free on the touchscreen Uconnect system here. And the info bar up here tells you what temperatures it's at for the dual climate control. If you have any devices connected, tells you the time. Outside temperature, there's a compass there, and whether your heated seats or ventilated seats are turned on. And you can turn the screen off if you don't want to look at it, touch with your finger, it comes back on. You have your hazards here and a back button to help you guide through your system. Man, oh man, this luxurious interior is absolutely stunning. I could sit in this truck all day. It's the 2017 Ram 1500 Limited in granite crystal metallic paint powered by the Hemi 5.7 liter V8 engine. Underneath the hood, this is a crew cab configuration truck with the five foot box on the back. It has active level four corner air suspension and a whole load of goodies inside and a very luxurious design. Come book a test drive at Crosstown today. I'm your man David and I'll talk to you later.